So yeah, I'm having a very, very weird internal struggle with myself right now. Right now, currently, on the Xbox One, the Division beta is out. And I think either later today or tomorrow will be out for PlayStation and all that, you know, stuff about that. You know, Xbox gets it first, the DLC goes to it first, the beta came out for it first, you know, all that stuff. But... You know, I want to get the Division, that's no question, I want to get the Division, I want to pre-order it, I'm going to pre-order it whenever I get the money for it, but I have a struggle, do I want to buy the normal edition and get, you know, just get the base game, everything comes with it, or do I want to spend the extra money and get the season pass to go with it, so that way I can get all the DLC and not have to worry about it. Honest to God, I really do want to get the season pass, because I feel like... The Division is a game that I can really put a lot of time into and will, you know, actually play. But, I don't know, I just don't feel like... Not that it's not worth the money that I'm going to spend it, and then I'm not going to play it as much as I did, or as much as I want to. Does that make sense to anybody? Like, I don't want to spend the extra money. Like, okay, but the real reason I'm having this debate, you know, if, you have, if you've uh, pre-ordered the Call of Duties, you realize that it's $60 for the base game, or like... 75 maybe 80 dollars to get the um season pass and stuff but in this case it was 60 dollars for the base game right or 99 point or 99 dollars and 99 cents for the division plus the season pass not only is that a lot of money that i don't know if i want to spend but that's a lot of money for one game and one season pass I mean, the beta looks interesting. I really wish I could have had it, but Jesus, man, $99? And if you think about it, the season pass is probably going to be $50 with the uh, when you buy the game and they offer you the season pass. It's probably going to be $50 no matter what. So thinking about it, 60 plus 50 obviously is more than 100 and that's where they're getting their um, $100 from. But still, freaking nine, $100? A hundred dollars for this one game and it's season pass. I really, oh my gosh. I better get like 12 DLCs for this. Hey, <laughs> I re <clears throat> oh god. <clears throat> oh, that was embarrassing. But really, that much money for just the season, I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Maybe I should just get the season pass and shut up about it. But I really did have to uh, I, uh, make a video on it, talk about it. I don't know. But yeah, like it's just, I don't know. I really like the look of the division. The division looks good. I'm watching a stream actually right now. It's actually to my right. I'm trying not to pay attention to it, but I'm trying to see like uh, how they're doing, or not how they're doing, how they uh, how the game looks and stuff, how it's operating, and it looks fun as f, dude. I've loved third-person shooters for a long time, and I've always loved games where you can grind for loot. That's why I I uh, fell in love with Destiny so quick. The grind for loot kept me interested, and that's what's pretty much kept me playing for the past year and a half a half no not a half just a year so like the loot grind is going to be perfect it's going to be fun i love to grind for loot but it's just i can't get over that 99 like the thing is i have a pro or i haven't made it yet but i had a pros and cons list and the pros outweighed the cons but the size of the cons were way big like i know pro um Game I can put a lot of time into. Con. Uh, what if there's a huge... What what will the DLC look like? Will it be just the PvP maps? Or is it going to be like new missions, new gear? Because if it's just maps, then what's the point of buying them when... Uh, uh, if they're just maps. Like, I could probably live without the maps if the base game is good. But if the DLC are like new playable areas for the PvE where you grind for gear and stuff... Then I want to buy the DLC, but I don't want to uh, buy the season pass and it just be maps. Now, if it's like, oh, the next DLC, you get to explore a new part of New York. Okay, or with the new DLC, you can go to the jungle and grind for, like, I don't know, soldiers camoed weapons. I don't know. That'd be super sick. But it, it'd be worth the DLC. I just don't know what to do. I'm like, I have all the way till March to pre-order this, I think. I don't know. I probably actually don't, because the gold edition will probably go by super quick. They probably limited it. Well, no. I'm sorry. I'm. That's actually not right. I do plan to um, download it on console, so I probably can still get the gold edition either way. I don't know. Buying the DLC 
separately, or the season pass separately will probably be fifty dollars. And if that's fifty dollars, I expect a lot of content for it. So I'm expecting like four DLC, like how Call of Duty does it. It's like fifty dollars, but you get four DLC plus whatever bonus they had for pre-ordering it in the first place. Now, if I did actually buy the game though, or the season pass and stuff, guaranteed content. I'm definitely getting the base game. The base game you guys don't have to worry about. March 8th, it's definitely coming. I wanted to play Division so bad. I've had nothing but hype for the game, which is, I, I hope it's not a disappointment. Please. Please don't let it be a disappointment. That's all I ask for. Because I Ubisoft and me have a very very strained relationship after the past couple uh Assassin's Creed games, so I'm putting all hope into act or Activision <laughs> into Ubisoft for the division. Because really if the divisions if I pay money for the division and it's garbage, I probably will never buy another Ubisoft game. Ever again. Like I don't mean like Oh no, I'm not gonna buy the new Assassin's Creed. I mean, any Ubisoft game, odds are will not get my money. Now, I can't remember. Did you, you, somebody, who made Rainbow Six? If that was Ubisoft, then my faith is restored. I'm gonna look it up after this. I don't even know. Okay, yeah, I just looked it up. Rainbow Six Siege was made by Ubisoft, so honestly, I, I honestly have way more faith in Ubisoft, actually, than I did 10 minutes ago. I honestly forgot, like, I couldn't remember who the made Ubisoft, or who the F made Rainbow Six Siege, and if the Division's anything like Rainbow Six Siege, take my money. This gives me more of a reason to buy the Division, actually. I actually just might shut the F up and just buy the Season Pass.